Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 5. Last time we made it above the uh, Chronos ship, and... Looks like Federation curs have come barking up our tree. Relocate the test subject at once. Sir! This is why I told you. When you go to the research lab, put that one in the shuttle as well. So, one of the kiddos is apparently inside that room, while the other's in the research facility. I'm pretty sure our plan is to rescue them both, right? Then why don't we start with the one in front of us? It's as Miki says. We should help her. But first, we should get some treasure. Anyway, as I was saying before I was interrupted by the random cutscene there, uh, we're basically trying to rescue Relia and Faria. If you forgot, Faria is Relia's sister who came out of nowhere. So apparently one of them's over here. So let's head on down here and see if we can't rescue them. And again, no cutscene here or anything else like that. Just uh, go all out against these guys. It's easy enough. Um, you know, it's the same. It's really the same enemies that we always see. It's nothing different at all. Where's that uh, commander? Is there a commander here at all? No, it's just these same people. I, I probably should show off what roles I have equipped if I remember. I'll show off what roles I have equipped in the. Um, in the uh, end slate. Enemy elimination successful. So can I go in here? Here we are. Hey, it's Relia. I think. Relia. Yeah. Freeze! Don't you understand the position you're in? Think it over. You have a lot more to lose by doing that than us. Still, I'd rather blow her brains out than let the Federation get its paws on her. <laughs> Victory is mine, and so are your weapons. Hand them over. Uh, I don't think so, asshole. Don't take a single step forward. You know very well what'll happen if you do. Mm, no. This is the last warning I'll give. Don't even flinch. Hmm? Hey, hey! Over here. Way to go, I think I'm fitting his really for the most adept swordsman in all of Rasulia, indeed. You okay? Uh, yep, I'm okay. Whatever you do. Don't even think of leaving my side. Okay. No, no, no! Our plan! Not a single one of you is getting out of here alive! <laughs> I love how he's just like doing like a temper tantrum. It's so ridiculous. Anyway, go after the commander here. Um, just, ugh. I hate how you can't just target somebody. You have to like, be like next to him. Come on, target who I want. To. There we go, yeah. Go for the commander here, and make sure that you have the um, the warrior slayer roll on Fidel so that you do extra damage to human characters, and he has about 230,000 HP. So, yeah, it'll take a little bit of time. Well, like, he's already pretty much dead. I was going to say it'll take quite some time to get him down, but no, not really. <laughs> this guy's going down. Thanks. But we've known that for a long time. So can we leave? Or are you still here? Oh. Fidel! Fidel! You okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? Nope. I'm okay. Really, uh, thank goodness. Mickey! We are all happy to see Relia safe and sound. However, we cannot stay here much longer. Relia. You want to come with us and help rescue Feria? Yep, I'll come with you. And more party members with uh, Relia joining us. Kenny to the Charles de Gaulle. This is the Charles de Gaulle. Transport the seven of us over there right away. I can't. There appears to be a shield encasing your ship that blocks transport functionality. Captain. They've set a silent countdown self-destruct sequence. They love their explosions. How much time left? 27 minutes, 19 seconds. It's still calculating, but we clearly don't have much time. Can we stop it? Not with this little time. The command's far too advanced to override. What about the jamming? Its security is the same level as the countdowns. What's more, it appears to be directly linked to the captain's vital signs. Delacroix, can you send a shuttle to the cargo bay over here? I can and I would, but the doors to your cargo bay are closed. We'll take care of that. Aye, aye. I'll have a shuttle waiting for you right outside the doors. Got it. 
Over and out. Oh. I take it there will be someone waiting for us at this cargo bay? Right. Us. Cargo bay. Now. Okay, yeah, we only have 27 minutes. How are we ever going to get out of here on time? Huh, I don't know if we could possibly make it. Another try. You know, I've got to say, and this isn't really like a knock on the game, but the way the cutscenes are interspersed, it just makes it a little bit difficult for me to know when to uh, speak and when to be quiet. So if I talk a little bit over the cutscenes, I'm very sorry. I really am trying not to, but... It's harder than it seems, unless I just did it in post commentary, but who has time for that? I would say it probably takes a good two hours to record one 15 minute video. That's all the way from start to finish, including the editing process and everything else like that. Um, but, like, if you add in putting in post commentary to that, that's like another half an hour, because it probably takes twice as long to add in post commentary as it does the actual length of the video. Because you have to figure out, you know, when uh, you have downtime, when you have the cutscenes, uh, when you're editing things out. It's just a pain in the ass. But, I digress. You're not watching this to hear me talk about recording. You're watching this for the uh, game. Would it have killed them to include some, you know, variety in the enemies here? Oh, we got that taken care of. Oh, man. 23 more minutes left. Holy crap, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> Why do they give you so much time? It's so ridiculous. Like, I could go all the way back to the very beginning and then come back even still have time left over. Yeah. No one decided to lock the hatch. I'll get it open. we got 32 seconds remain that's too short captain to the charles de gaulle i read your present location lower your shield to sec then reset the boundary to nine clicks go all out with the new warp engine and head toward the enemy ship as rapidly as you can that's just rash five seconds remain i said do it the clock's ticking wait you're telling me we actually get to see our spacecraft and an enemy spacecraft in a game about spaceships who knew? Well, that's pretty cool, I've got to say. Bye, Felicia. Are we secure? All systems clear. The shuttle should be okay. So we're not in any danger? We did it, sir. Thank you. We're still alive. Thank goodness. Let's return to the Charles de Gaulle. I must have overslept. I wonder how Relia's doing. Well, let's find out. We just need to head to the uh, transporter room, so let's go on over there. And then from here, she's kind of hanging out upon the wall uh, on the opposite end of the ship from the shop. So yeah, I went the wrong way as usual. Oh, there she is. She Nikki's hair. What's wrong? What are you doing, Fidel? Taking a walk. Maybe I should come along too. I'll come too. Perfect. And let's be on our way. And I don't know about you, but I would like to end this walk as quickly as humanly possible. So just head straight towards the bridge to uh, move on with the plot. The problems are just piling up. We can't let this escalate to all-out war. Kronos is sure to make an official demand for her return. You don't think erasing her symbols is viable anymore? Even if it is? It's unlikely to defuse the situation at this point. <sighs> It'd be so much easier if Little Miss Starlight had never been created. <gasps> Captain! Really? That was uncalled for. I know. I'm sorry. 
Well, that was a pretty bastard move, Emerson. Anyway, you're going to find her down on the cargo bay. So, uh, just head on down there. There we go. Yeah, it was the first option. Leave it to me to fuck it up. Aurelia. Leave me alone. Everyone would be a lot happier if... If only I weren't around. That's not true at all. You know that. It's okay. I'm tired of this. Leave me alone. Fidel! I promised that I'd protect you. If you left me behind, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. If you're going to jump, Relia, then let me jump with you. You might never be able to rid yourself of that pain. It might influence how you live until the day you die, but right now, Relia, I want you to live for me. Without you, there's no chance I could ever be happy. Please don't do anything like this ever again, okay? If for some reason you ever stop believing in yourself, and always believe in me instead. My fault. If anyone deserves the blame here, it's me. I apologize for my behavior. I never meant that I didn't want you to be created. It was a poor choice of words. We're very sorry that we brought this incident upon you. You won't do that again, right? Fidel, Miki, Fiore, Victor, Relia, you're all needed on the bridge. Wow, that was a pretty touching scene, I've got to say. Why didn't they just, you know, let us go to the bridge or just warp us there automatically? Why do we have to continually run back and forth to get to all these different places? And then walk as slow as humanly possible. Do you happen to recall what that enemy captain said before we fought in front of Relia's holding cell? Something about a shuttle, right? Mm-hmm. He said, when you go to the research lab, put that one in the shuttle as well. Mm-hmm. Good memory. From that statement, we can obviously infer that Ferry is inside their research facility. A Kronos research facility, huh? We found two of their symbology labs in the course of our journey, though. Aha! Eureka! One of them got blown to bits and is useless now. So... The only one left is Symbological Facility Prime on the banks of the ISOC. Okay. Everyone to the transport room. We're coming for you, Feria. Well, I would, but as luck would have it, Welch has some more side quests for us, there's more quests on the board, and there's more private actions, because we're never done with that. But anyway, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you my roles that I have equipped, and then next time we're going to do yet another interlude episode, because it's never ending. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Thank you.